Hello friends, I thank you all so much for stopping by. In this video, I will be showing all of the things that I did in the month of April and May. I hope you enjoy. Thanks. But then we did get a little bit of snow, but that's okay. And then we started on our next project, which was the cut flower garden. As you can see here, I used cardboard and mulch and the tilling was probably the hardest. We tilled the whole entire area before we put the cardboard down and then the mulch and then I measured each of the beds. They are four feet by seven feet. And these are ready to go. Tonight's going to get a low of 38 degrees, but I will also set up the hoops and put the frost cover over them just to protect them a little bit while they get used to being planted in the ground. I layered on top of this compost. And so we are ready to get going and get planting with these snapdragons. All right, so we are all done. These are all planted in, 44 plants, planted in and watered, and the hoop has been constructed, and now I'm ready to put the agribon on, just in case, um, because tonight we'll be dipping to 38, and I know these can take it um, up to 40, and so for sure I will be putting the agribon on tonight. And then all of these, first three rows, the first three rows here, up to uh, right here is the Potomac Lavender Snapdragon. That row to the third row and then back down is the Potomac Royal Snapdragon. And then I think all three of these these nine here, these nine here are the Potomac Ivory Snapdragon. This needs to go over here. Just wanted to give you guys an update on my winter sown lettuce. I call this bed here my salad bar. All of the different kind of lettuce are growing in and getting big and strong. I'm so excited. Um, the first row right here is the butterhead. And then I don't remember the names of these, but I've got some red lettuce, butterhead, it's the arugula right here, and just different types of lettuce. Uh, so we can eat more healthy and then I've got a nasturtium growing right there just to help with um, to control the pests um, for my lettuce so I just wanted to open up the hoop today and give them a little light and then I will put the shade back on again and I'm going to plant a second session here of more butterhead lettuce because we eat that a lot with our Korean barbecues and so I'm going to plant some more right here and some more right here as like another succession of the butterhead lettuce. Every year I look forward to these plum tree blossoms. They are beautiful and fragrant and I know when I see these blossoms spring is here and soon will be summer.
Today is planting day. I've got all of my zinnia varieties here. There's one, two, three, four, five different varieties that will get planted and squeezed into this four by seven bed. And so I know it's not all going to fit in here. And so I'm going to have to figure out what to do with the rest. My goal for this year for my cut flower garden is just to grow big and strong healthy flowers and to make lots of pretty bouquets out of them. Alright, so these are all planted in. I just kind of want to give you the directions of my house so you would know how I'm planting these. These, This first row here, these are the really tall zinnias the benari giant benari zinnias and so they will grow from 40 to 50 inches tall and then i um planted them by height and so these are the shorter i think these are also 40 to 50 inches tall and this is the pink no the polar bear zinnia which is a white color i don't remember what the color of these benari giants are so we'll wait and see the second row are the shorter ones. This is the pink Senorita Zinnia, which is pink. This fourth row is the Mazurkia Zinnia, um, which is like a, a violet and white mixed together, which is the shortest one out of all for these different types of Zinnias. And so these are ordered from either Johnny C's or Baker Cree. I don't remember which ones. Look at these. I just potted these like when I received them. 428. And today is May 12th. And look at these roots. It's gorgeous. So exciting. This is the Pooh Dahlia. I got this auger, this piece here. Um, a couple years ago for my uh, tulip bulbs and I never used it since then because I like to plant my tulip bulbs like in um, a group together all of my spring uh, flowering bulbs and so I haven't used this in a long time but I noticed that using this sped up all the time to plant these plants so I will be using this for the rest of today this grow up in the blink of the night and the enough of my tulips. They look like little cloud of marshmallows. The white ones performed really well compared to the purple and the pink ones. I love these white ones. They're like little clouds of marshmallows. I finally found one of my dream trees. This is a Japanese lilac tree and my husband helped me carry it into the car and I planted it in. I'm so excited.
wanted to show you guys this beautiful iris that I found at my local garden nursery. And look at the leaves. Isn't that beautiful? I love this type of color. It's the texture, the color variegation. It's gonna look beautiful. This is a zebra iris. And look at the beautiful color, purple. And it's hardy from zone three to nine, which is perfect. And it gets as tall as 24 inches. And it needs sun to part shade. And so this is a perfect spot right here, closer to my house and in my in a little bit of my cut flower garden right here. Um, and the reason why I'm putting it here is because over by my vegetable garden, that's where my irises are getting attacked by bunnies. And so I figure if I put it closer to the house, they won't come this close. And plus I have it all fenced in, so it should be okay. So I can't wait to see the bloom. I picked one that had a bloom, um, that are ready to bloom so that, come on, focus. So I can see some blooms this year. Zebra iris is all planted.